I'm going to discuss the parts of the three-point hitch on your tractor. The three-point hitch was invented by Harry Ferguson and first used in 1939 on the Ford 9N tractor. The three-point hitch is made up of two lift arms and a top link. That's why it's called a three-point hitch. There are different categories of three-point hitches ranging from category zero all the way to category three. Compact tractors and subcompact tractors are category one. There's also a limited category one three-point hitch which still has the seven-eighths ball ends on the lift arms and three-quarter on the top link but it does not lift as high as your typical three-point hitch does so you may be limited with that on what implements you can use because the tractor won't pick it up high enough so you'll be dragging the implement on uneven terrain. Category 1 three-point hitches have a 7 8 ball end in each lift arm and a three-quarter in the top link. So like I said these are called your lift arms. This is the side link Typically the side link on the right side is adjustable. You loosen a lock nut up top and use a wrench to run it up and down. Some tractors have a box on the side of it with a handle so you can wind them up and down. Then the one on the left side is fixed. And this is the top link. It's adjustable in and out. And these are called the check chains or stabilizers. Typically you want about no play to maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch of play on your implement side to side. Some tractors have the check chains on the outside of the lift arms. There are also different types of stabilizers. Some and while I'm back here, this is the PTO shaft. This is a flip up PTO shield. Older tractors do not have a shield. This is in case your PTO shaft would break to help protect you. And this is the drawbar. This style is commonly found on subcompact tractors. This is the style drawbar that uh, compact tractors are going to have. This one's adjustable in and out. There's also what's called a swinging drawbar where you can adjust it side to side. And this is a different style of adjustable side length. This tractor has the hydraulic side link on the right hand side and the hydraulic top link. You can click the link on the screen for a video on the hydraulic top and tilt kit. And this tractor has external cylinders that raise the three point hitch. The advantage is you have dual cylinders for more lifting capacity. Then if you'd ever have a problem with them leaking, Instead of having to tear the back of the tractor down, you can just pull the cylinder off, rebuild it, or put a new cylinder in and go. Here's the stabilizers on this tractor. You can see how they're adjustable. You pull the pin out, and this one allows for some movement. This tractor also has a telescopic lift arms. I'm going to do a separate video on the telescopic lift arms and these stabilizers versus the non-adjustable lift arms and the check chains like I just showed you on the BX. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you understand what the different parts of the three-point hitch are called. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.